Hello, in this tutorial I want to introduce you to the basic of uh, multidimensional arrays. Although it sounds really complicated, it's very simple. One of the most useful multidimensional array is the matrix or two-dimensional array. This is very similar to one-dimensional. I show you how you can uh, make it. So, int array, so the type and the name of the array and put not one two square brackets okay and to put elements in it you want you first put one curly bracket pair and one inside it so you put elements right here like one two three uh, we, we separated with comma and then the inside mm, curly brackets pair you separate with a comma and you put another curly separate a uh, curly bracket par and you write something else here like like other numbers six and again with a comma and another curly bracket par this is you will continue this until you think that it is enough. For now, we will use here three. That is actually these inside. So there is three element right here, and we will use the three here as well. So this is the outer. So there is one, two, and now make the third so seven eight nine okay and semicolon after it so you have um, put elements to that array and now just write it out we use uh, two for loops for that so one for loop is inside another for loop this is a very common technique to write out so for int i equals zero i less than three i plus plus like that and inside that for loop another for loop in j equals zero j less than three and j plus plus okay that's it and uh, write out the array i j simple enough and uh, don't make end line here you put this like there and make the end line here similarly as we did with the multiplication table so count end line so this will run like first it will be zero and this will be zero and this inner for loop goes to to 3, actually to 2 because 3 is not less than 3 and then the outer for loop will increase by 1 then it will run 3 times again and it will be uh, and it will increase again 3 times again so in this inner for loop you write out the element and if in the outer for loop you just uh, write out a new line so it will be nicer okay actually I think I we can run the program so get a terminal g plus plus first dot cpp okay and run it as you can see it gives a table okay then and actually it is just as simple as that to handle multidimensional array you can even put another so three dimensional array but it really don't use but it really not used so how can you give this to a function let's see so make a function void right out there is a little trick here yeah. and 
write it like here so it is not the same as we did with the, the simple dimensional array so just gives the address of the first element so make it a you so you have to define the other dimensions of the array so like int a and uh, the first you ha you could um, leave empty and you have to define the second so free like that and in the call just write out and pass the array without any modification so if you just uh, run the program actually compile it first okay now so compile the program and now you can run it and as you can see it's right out as well okay thank you for watching and have a great